Hey guys, what is up? It's X Python here with um, a review of the Sentry Safe um, small lockbox. So uh, most of this review will uh, cover mostly, you know, the dimensions of this item, which uh, I'm guessing people are more uh, concerned about because it is a lockbox after all, and um, from what I heard. Um, um, in uh, online reviews, the uh, the key is actually only exclusively it only exclusively works for the uh, lock um, that it comes with, meaning your key is not going to work on someone else's uh, lockbox, even if it is sentry safe and it is in a small size. So um, this one says 0 0.13 cubic feet, but on Amazon it was listed as um, small. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to see um, first of all the toughness of the actual safe itself and um, basically the dimensions I have my ruler right here uh, ready to measure it out so let's go ahead and open this box and see what we've got inside This thing's taped kind of funny. Okay, so it's a rather large, uh, large box actually. You can see compared to my knife. Um, a more common object. Quarter. See, it's very, uh, very large, very thick as well. Nothing else in the box. I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to go ahead and slice off the plastic. Okay, so it comes unlocked. Um, latch works, but uh, obviously, if it's if it's going to be locked, or if it's going to be unlocked rather, you can't use the uh, latch. Otherwise, the lid's going to open and the contents are going to come out flying. So we have here just a plastic tray. I'll go ahead and measure out the tray. So the tray measures about nine and a half inches, a little more, nine and three quarters inches, by about seven inches, and it's about, you see here, an inch um, thick, or an inch deep. So when we take that out, we get the actual lock box itself, and basically conforms with the uh, dimensions of the. Um, or rather the the inside conforms with the dimensions of the outside uh, pretty close we get about nine and three quarters or a little less than nine and three quarters just like the uh, tray was except it's all space here nine and three quarters by try to make this as realistic as possible by just under seven see right there just under seven inches by about, you can see there, let me go ahead and place a finger right there, oh, you can see it right there on camera, almost two inches deep. So, um, it'll definitely fit your, uh, your folding knives. Um, you can keep that underneath even. Um, and I'm not quite sure how well the uh, how all, like bills would actually fit, fit in this thing. Uh, if you want to fold the bills up, that would be fine. But I'm guessing most conventionally the bills would go under here. So let's go ahead and lock it up. Comes with 
I said two keys on a key ring. Okay, there's the lock. Let's go ahead and lock it up. It's not going to open up anytime soon. Uh, let me see if I can lock that up any more tight, tighter because you can see it's uh, it's not as secure as I'd like it to be. So nope, that's as uh, that's as far as it goes. So it's not it's not going to lock up, you know, solidly. You're still going to have that gap there, and you know I'm a little worried that someone's going to slip a knife or something into the opening there and unlock it somehow. Um, let's go and unlock it. Turn to the right, left for lock, right for unlock, and when we unlock it, we can sort of see right there. That's the locking mechanism, basically. So, that just gets me wondering uh, whether or not I can just take this knife, take a knife out like that, just slide it into the chink like that, and free it. So, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and see if we can actually try to unlock it. I'm probably going to need a thinner blade than this, actually. Um, Trusty old credit card knife will probably work. So I'm just going to use the blade. This blade is like a millimeter thick. Alright, so I would pull on the top to, open, to expose the, the opening there. I'll slip this inside. And, uh, surprisingly, it's still not, um, still not thin enough. This thing's like half a millimeter thick. So, I guess my, uh, I guess my suspicions were wrong. You really can't slip much through, uh, that crack there. As you can see, there's a little ridge over there that kind of folds over, so you can't really access this, uh, this locking piece, but you know, it, uh, it kind of worries me that uh, the only thing keeping this case locked is, you know, this piece of bent metal. Um, I'm mean, sure, I'm sure you can, um, I don't know if you could just slip the blade in there and unlock it. Um, I'm not really into pick locking or anything like that, but that thing stays secure, so, um, again, the whole, the whole knife slipping suspicion kind of ev evaporates here because you can't even uh, move this thing without you know the key inserted in to you know unlock all the other little uh, gates or locks inside so let's see there's a warning here though it says um, basically dangerous items shouldn't be uh, stored in here because um, I'm sure it's not uh, fire resistant and obviously you don't want like a gun or like combustible material to uh, discharge or whatever if you uh, place this thing too close to heat. So there you go. That's the, uh, that's the small size Sentry Safe uh, lock box for you. It's available on Amazon for uh, roughly 11 bucks. And um, I'm going to be reviewing the medium lockbox in too when it arrives tomorrow. And uh, let's see how it goes. So, thanks for watching and hope this helped. Peace.